Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Although this will probably go on IGTV first, so this is my first IGTV, hooray. Things that come out of the uh, pandemic. Lots of creativity, love that. What happens when you wear a mask a good portion of your day? Like I wear it 12 hours a day, three days a week, sometimes four days a week, and it's irritating to your skin. Uh, it's very important for patient care. It's very important to prevent the spread of Corona, but there are some, some issues that came along with it that I didn't think that I would deal with. And I just wanted to help you guys deal with it because they're tricky to deal with. So I reached out to a couple friends, got some good advice and it's been working. First things first, uh, I, I don't have my beard anymore. I had to shave it because of the way that the mask uh, needs to fit to make a good seal and all that. It's very sad, I haven't shaved my beard off in many, many years. So it was a weird experience and the skin was very sensitive. So I've dealt with acne all of my life and I feel like I have it pretty well under control at this point, unless I'm trying something new or just get super, super stressed, which I mean, it's a stressful time. So that's certainly making things a little harder to deal with, but uh, breaking out. Breaking out is the biggest thing that people have complained about when they're wearing masks because it keeps it very humid in that little environment and the friction also irritates the skin and keeps makeup or sunscreen or um, whatever else is on your face, those oils, it kind of packs them into your pores and doesn't let them really get anywhere. So especially if you're wearing the same mask for 12 hours, you're gonna have clogged pores. So any of us who are already acne prone are just gonna suffer them more and irritated skin. So that can be dry, flaky, irritated, red, um, just tender, sensitive, especially if you're wearing N95s that are really pressure oriented. So they're very tight against your skin. That's why, especially on Instagram, you've seen some of the nurses and healthcare providers with bruising on their face because it's meant to be very, very tight against your skin to breathe through the filter. So your skin takes, takes the brunt of that damage. First things first, salicylic acid is gonna be one of your best friends. Just finding out the best way to put it on is a little bit trickier. My skin is really sensitive to salicylic acid, so while I love Paula's 2% BHA, I can't use it every day. I can't even use it more than a couple times a week without my skin starting to peel and get a little bit irritated. Um, so one of the recommendations I had was to, instead of putting it on in kind of that toner exfoliator stage, put it on at the very end of your routine, um, but before you put on sunscreen, if you're gonna do that, to help keep the pores clear. So higher concentration of stuff, uh, but buffer it with uh, your moisturizer, your toner, all those wonderful emollient ingredients that are gonna help slow down the kind of irritating effect that salicylic can have, but still give you that extra boost to kind of clear out your pores. So that certainly has helped. Um, I use this more for spot treatment at night that I kind of, through the former beard line, tap that in, at the end of my routine and it seems to really clear things up kind of overnight. The other option that's nice and gentle is from CauseRx. It is the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. This is uh, kind of a gel serum like texture, a little bit thinner than that, um, but definitely thicker than water. And this one is, I forget what the percentage is. You have to look it up on Inky Decoder or CauseRx or cause DNA. It's pretty low, like in the 0.5% range. So very gentle. So I'm able to use this more regularly. It also has some nourishing ingredients. So I put this on in kind of my toner essence stage in the mornings before I go to work. And yeah, it, this is also kind of just keeping generally pores clearer. It's making for a much cleaner shave. So I don't get those ingrown bumps without irritating my skin any further. That said, it's not, strong enough to get rid of the real closed comedones, real pimples that get in there right in through here and on the sides of my nose. So preventative to some effect, but uh, yeah, I use these two together. And the other thing that I've sort of been working into my routine is a salicylic acid cleanser. Now this one is probably my favorite. It is Jordan Samuels, the matinee gel cleanser. It has a very, very gentle amount of uh, salicylic in it as well, probably in the same sort of vein as the power liquid, you know, like 0.5 or so. I don't think he actually discloses it anywhere, but it also has aloe and glycerin and replenishing ingredients that are, yeah, very good for irritated skin, but still managed to kind of encourage those pores to stay nice and clear 
and help exfoliate a little bit of that dead skin over the surface. It's non-foaming, um, just a really gentle gel cleanser that keeps your skin relatively happy and balanced and hydrated. So this one's great for an AM cleanse. Next up is men specific chef shave cream. It is fragrance free, scary stuff free. It's just a really kind of fluffy, wonderful shave cream that has done very well. My skin, like I said, super irritated when I had to shave it for the first time in many years. This has definitely helped work through that. It's a no muss, no fuss. It's nice airless pump design, so you can take it into the shower with you and shave in there when it's nice and humid. I've talked about this before, it's great. And uh, yeah, decent price. So now on to part two, the irritated friction related stuff that happens. Step one, I am in love with this. It is boop. Um, First Snow Essence, it is by Holy Snails. It's, they're an awesome indie brand, check them out. I talked about them before. This is probably one of my favorite, you can call it an essence, but it's just so much more than that. It has hydrolyzed oats. It's got multiple um, herbal extracts in it, non-fragrant, but it does have sort of just that nice herbaceous smell to it. It's a beautifully fine mist. The thing I like about it is it's one of the only essence toner mists that I've seen that actually has ceramides in it. That's the mortar that goes between the building blocks of your skin. I use this a couple times a day. Uh, I layer on about three layers in the morning and three layers at night, but then I also take it to work. And um, when I have a few moments, take my mask off, splash some water, and then put this on because it's got humectants in it as well that keep that moisture and skin hydration all there as well as just being calming. It's a little on the pricey side. They recommend keeping it in the fridge just to keep the potency of the ceramides. I need to look into how ceramides uh, are stay effective and go bad because I had never heard of keeping it cold to keep ceramides effective, but awesome stuff. And most ceramide products have a lot of weight to them. So this is just water light and I love that. Speaking of weighty products, these are going to be for nighttime after you've taken a mask off. I wouldn't recommend putting them on before a mask because they're so emollient that they can tend to interfere with the functionality of it, as well as they may kind of go the other direction and get packed into your pores and, and maybe make them more congested. So this is sort of repair and recover after you've washed your face thoroughly um, with a double cleanse just to get everything off, even if you're not wearing sunscreen or makeup. If you're wearing a mask, do a double cleanse with oil-based cleanser and then a water-based cleanser to get all the gunk out of your pores because you're just packing everything in with that mask. Both of these are from La Roche-Posay. Um, there we go. One is the uh, Tolerain line. It's double repair face moisturizer. It's just a really nice uh, reparative cream that's very neutral so it doesn't irritate sensitive skin and then niacinamide in there helps your body prevent more transepidermal water loss if you use it routinely. So awesome stuff here. It is a little hard here. Um, I've never had a problem with it breaking me out, but I don't want to test the waters here. So good stuff there. Also Cicaplast, uh, this is, I just ran into this in the last six months or so. Um, I don't know how I missed it. It's been around forever, but it is a very lightweight balm that repairs. It has some antimicrobial effects. It has uh, Cica in it or uh, Centella Asiatica sort of extract that helps replenish your barrier, keeps moisture. Um, it's very calming. It's This is true barrier repair. If I used this every day, I would definitely get clogged pores, uh, but underneath the eyes especially, it gives me milia like nobody's business. So I just use this every other day or so, or especially for spot treating like around my nose or my upper lip, the places that get really raw from the mask. Awesome. And then this one, I've talked about this a million times, everyone has, but uh, Great Barrier Relief. This is from Crave Beauty. I use this as a creamy serum. So one or two pumps through my whole face. It's never clogged my pores. Um, it's fragrance free. It's just really gentle. It's good for folks who have acne and more congested pores that it really does seem to be the right blend of oils and moisturizers and emollients that um, replenish without clogging your pores. So awesome option here. I use it in conjunction with kind of everything else that's going on just to keep 
everything a little bit more calm, but I definitely focus on my neck and the places that I shave. To recap, salicylic acid, if you're super sensitive, try doing it just as a gentle salicylic cleanser. Um, Jordan Samuels is awesome. There's also one from CeraVe that's gentle and has ceramide replenishment, so double hitter there. If you can go a little more extreme, using something like um, Paula's Choice 2% BHA is an awesome option, or going daily or twice daily with the Cosrx BHA. The other side of things, make sure that you're using something that's replenishing um, for your barrier repair, it needs to have ceramides in it, things that are gonna be calming, whether they're oatmeal or green tea. Yeah, protecting your skin, getting as much sleep as you can, um, trying to stay as uh, de-stressed as possible is gonna help, but I hope these tips were helpful and yeah, I will see you guys again on YouTube or maybe IGTV if that becomes a thing for me. Yeah, I hope you have a great day. Stay safe, guys.